Welcome to part one of the B80 Mothership Quick Start Video Manual for the BMB4 Motherboard with Wave SoundGrid. In part one, we will cover how to get started with your new BMB4 Mothership. Originally released in 2010, the B80 Mothership has redefined digital recording all across the world. Built with a no compromise design, the B80 Mothership is a modular interface with incredible clarity, depth, and accuracy. Building on the technology of the two channel B2 bombers, the B80 Mothership was forged from Burl Audio's dedication to analog Class A circuitry. The result is not only heard, it's felt. The Mothership stands out from every other interface on the market, not because it's colored, but because it does not sterilize the source. The Mothership was built for the best studios in the world. Because of its modular design, it can also be the centerpiece for any size studio. And now with the power of sound grid, the new BMB4 Mothership has become even more accessible. This video will cover the installation and setup of your B80 BMB4 Mothership with SoundGrid. Getting started. Register. First things first, make sure to register the serial numbers for your Mothership chassis, BP300 power supply, and all daughter cards. You must register to activate your warranty. Please visit burlaudio.com register. In the boxes. The B80 Mothership chassis and BP300 power supply ship in separate boxes. All daughter cards will ship separately and are easily installed inside the chassis. In box 1 you will find your new B80 Mothership with the BMB4 motherboard already installed, 2 rack vents, 16 rack screws, B80 blank panel screws, and the BMB4 quick start guide. Front and rear blank panels may be purchased separately from your Burl dealer. In box two, you will find the BP300 power supply, one four pin mothership power cable, and one IEC cable. Jumper settings. Now we are going to check the jumper settings on the BMB4 motherboard. The jumper settings on the BMB4 motherboard allow for different IO routing possibilities. Please refer to the B80 BMB4 quick start guide. Find the H9 header on the BMB4 motherboard as shown here. Use examples A through D on pages 2 and 3 to determine which setting to use based on your configuration. You can also use the channel mapping for jumper settings chart on page 4. Jumper positions 1 and 2 determine the input channel mapping. This allows you to pick between 4 inputs per slot, 8 inputs per slot, or a combination of both 4 and 8 inputs per slot. Jumper positions 3 and 4 determine output channel mapping. This allows you to choose where your outputs will start inside the Mothership chassis, slot 3, slot 5, or slot 7. Jumpers on both 1 and 2 are for use with the B16 Mothership chassis and should not be used with the B80 Mothership chassis. Now, let's take a look at the different jumper settings for the BMB4 motherboard. Example A, jumpers on 1 and 3. This is the factory setting for use with the B80 Mothership chassis. A jumper on 1 means there will be 8 inputs per slot. Inputs 1 through 8 are found in slot 1. 9 through 16 are found in slot 2, and so on. A jumper on 3 means output channel 1 will be found in slot 5. Note that each B80 BMB4 motherboard can handle 64 in and out per chassis. With this configuration, please note that there are no inputs in slot 9 and 10, and there are no outputs in slot 3 and 4. Example B, no jumpers on 1 through 4. With no jumper on 1 or 2, there are 4 inputs per slot. With no jumper on 3 or 4, your outputs start in slot 7. In this example, we have bad 4 input cards in slots 1 through 6, channels 1 through 24 in, and BDA8 output cards in slots 7 through 10 for channels 1 through 32 out. Example C, jumpers on 2 and 3. A jumper on 2 means that slots 1 through 4 will have 8 inputs per slot, while slots 5 through 10 will have 4 inputs per slot. This setup works well when mixing 8 channel and 4 channel cards. In this example, we have 4 bad 8 input cards in slots 1 through 4, for channels 1 to 32 in, 4 BDA8 output cards in slots 5 through 8 for channels 1 to 32 out, and the BAS4 card, our 4 channel AES EBU daughter card in slot 9. To configure this card, you would use inputs 49 through 52 
and outputs 33 through 40. Example D, jumpers on 1 and 4. As in example A, the jumper on 1 gives us 8 inputs per slot, as you see here. And the jumper on 4 means our outputs are starting in slot 3. This example is for mix rigs with up to 64 outputs. Notice how we have BAT 8s in slots 1 and 2 for 16 inputs, and BDA 8s in slots 3 through 10, with output channels 1 through 8 in slot 3, and 57 through 64 in slot 10. Also see channel mapping for jumper settings on page 4 of the Quick Start Guide. Installing daughter cards. Always touch raw metal before you handle electronics to discharge any static electricity. After removing the cards from their boxes and ESD bags, straighten the cables a bit like so. From the rear of the chassis, insert the metal plate of the card into the B80 card guides. Make sure you don't insert the green PCB into the card guides. Slide the card all the way in and feel it securely connect with the backbone. Then tighten the screws. Now from the front of the unit, reach over the backbone and retrieve the cables. Attach the ribbon cable to the faceplate, then tighten the screws. Repeat these steps for all cards. Please note, some older revision daughter cards may have a two-pin power connector which will also need to be connected. Front and rear blank panels may be purchased separately from your Burl dealer. Use B80 blank panel screws to attach your blanks once all cards have been installed. Racking the mothership. Please note that the mothership runs very hot. This is partly why it sounds so good. Proper ventilation is key to keeping your mothership running for many years to come. Install vents. This is extremely important. Install 1U vents above and below the B80 chassis. The mothership must run with proper ventilation. Failure to properly vent the mothership chassis above and below may cause failure and will void warranty. Also be sure to install the BP300 power supply below the mothership rather than above it as shown here. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please go to burlaudio.com or email info at burlaudio.com. Part 2 of the B80 BMB4 Mothership Quick Start video will cover wave sound grid setup along with BMB4 clocking setup.